and you are watching IT Creations. Today we are going to be working on our shipping container tiny home. We are going to be doing the insulation in this tiny home. So I actually am paying a professional company to come out and insulate this container. I'm going to have them do spray foam. And what I'm going to actually have them do is they are going to be putting um, a open cell spray foam on my walls. And then they're going to be putting a closed cell spray foam on my ceiling. So for the open cell, you need a thicker surface of spray foam. I think they recommend like uh, six inches to fill up a full um, two by six of framing with the open cell. The closed cell, they don't need as much space. They only need about three inches. So everybody knows the inside of this container is out of two by fours. So I do not have that full six inches to get the correct R value that I'm looking for in this container. So most of the heat on this is gonna come in from the top, the roof. So I'm gonna have the better R value of the closed cell foam, a full three inches on the roof. And then I'm gonna have the other R value that's not gonna be as good with the open cell on the walls so that is the plan for this video i'm going to walk you through before the company gets here and before they start to spray this thing out and get it insulated so let's get to it start up the generator so we have some lights in there there we go okay so this is the inside of the tiny home i'm just going to kind of give you an overlook of what everything looks like around the inside of the container show you kind of just some of the plumbing some of the electrical and just kind of stuff that there's gonna get insulated over Okay, that's what everything looks like, not insulated. I'm gonna go on the outside, kill the generator, and I'm gonna actually bang on the side of the container because I believe once when this thing's insulated, it's gonna stop the noise from banging on the side of the container too, and dampen, dampen it a little bit, make it more like a house, less like a metal trash can, like I said in my other videos. This thing is gonna be very, very nice with this insulation package that I'm having put in this thing. Okay, I'm gonna tap right here on the container and I'm gonna tap on the exact same spot after it's insulated. Let's hear what it sounds like. Let's hear the quick comparison. Night and day difference, like, no echo.
okay they got this thing fully insulated they were out here till uh, seven o'clock at night spraying this shipping container and as you see they had in the videos you saw they had to run the hoses all the way down to the shed they had a 200 foot hose and it reached from the top of my road up there all the way down to here they couldn't get down my road we built over there it was just too muddy their trailer was sliding so we had to pull the hoses all the way up and down that hill but man they got it done they did a phenomenal job on the inside of this container i'm gonna walk you inside the container and show you how nice this insulation is and how big a difference it is going to make in this tiny home okay the first thing i noticed inside this container is the sound how different it sounds in here with all this insulation it is a night and day difference there is no echo in here they're like if i used to do that the whole container would rattle the sides would rattle it sounds completely different as you see i have two different kinds of foam on the walls like we talked about in the beginning of the video and i've never actually experienced the two different types of foam and the open cell foam is like super soft and squishy they said the open cell foam will actually work like a sponge and it will suck up any type of water that gets on it so that will not be good so make sure that your container is always sealed all around your windows so no water will get on the foam but what it does do is it does make like a barrier so the container won't sweat once when the foam is adhered to it so we won't get the sweating problem or the mold inside the container so that is super good it still works like regular spray foam or the closed cell foam and i do have the closed cell foam on the top as you see it looks a little bit different not much but it feels completely different that stuff on top as hard as a stinking rock like night and day difference between the different types of foam the reason i put the open cell on my walls it's way cheaper it doesn't even cost half as much as the stuff that i put on the ceiling so that's why i went with it on the walls and yeah great decision saved me a ton of money and it still sounds and looks amazing but let me walk you around and just kind of show you the way stuff looks they did an amazing job taping everything off as you see they got nothing on my uh, washer and dryer hookup they covered up all my wires looks great here's my electrical box they did a good job taping that off looks amazing everything is filled all the way up with insulation this is the bathroom go over in the bedroom This was way worth the money, guys. I definitely would never want to go inside one of these containers and spray it out myself. They uh, had this thing heated up so hot. They had a big old heater in there. Like it looked like a kerosene heater. They had that thing cranked all the way up. And I came out here and I stuck my hand on the outside of the metal and it was very, very warm, the outside of the metal, just from that heater they had in there and that was before they started spraying the foam they had to heat the inside of this thing up and they're in full-on suits big masks it looked miserable in there guys i'm like heck no pay a professional company they can do the hard work and get the thing insulated and listen to this right here is where i was tapping earlier night and day difference like no echo deadened all the noise inside the container super happy with this we're going to start finishing the inside of this thing out in the next coming videos get it completely looking like a house and make it livable you can fully live inside this tiny home when we are going to be done with it 
and it's going to be very comfortable very nice and regulated the temperature in there it's going to be very easy to do that with this foam so super happy with it but as always guys make sure to like share and subscribe we always got something crazy going on on this channel and you i don't ever slow up no i don't take shit i got no love for the fakeness if you want to play tough and want to hate this i'll always show up i don't ever slow up no i don't take shit i got no love for the fakeness if you want to play tough and want to hate